Hare Krishna. Welcome, 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 and very, very warm welcome to this Srimad Bhagavad Gita as it is. Eight chapters, 18 chapters, 18 sessions in 18 days. Welcoming you all to the 10th chapter, 10th session, the 10th day. Srimad Bhagavad Gita. Please accept the blessings of Sri Sri Radha Giridhari Ji and Masi of Srila Prabhupada. It is said that when the people, when the people of this world elect us in parliament, we get a place. When the people, when the people of this world elect us in parliament, we get a place. And when Krishna, the Supreme Personality of God, had select us in spiritual discourses, we get a place. Therefore, those who love Krishna can never say no to spiritual discourse. Those who love Prabhupada can never say no to spiritual discourses. Srimad Bhagavad Gita means beautiful song of God. Srimad means beautiful, Bhagavad means uh, God, and Gita means uh, song. I would say this is a song of love from the heart of Krishna. Krishna is saying that why are you unhappy? Why are you full of uh, uh, hatred? Why are you full of uh, fear? Come, come, because it's unnatural for us to be unhappy. It's unnatural for us to not love. It is unnatural for us to be in fear. So Krishna is welcoming us. Come back to me. Be love and be loved. Serve and be served and be happy and make others happy. The 10th chapter of Bhagavad Gita is called Vibhuti Yoga. That means the opulence of the absolute. This 10th chapter of Bhagavad Gita is very interesting, amazing and uh, simply wonderful. In the first chapter of Bhagavad Gita, we see uh, Arjuna is disturbed, Duryodhan is disturbed, and we also see Dhritarashtra is disturbed because they have a plan, and the plan is different from Krishna's plan. In the first chapter of Bhagavad Gita, Arjuna says, I am Pandava, Krishna says, wait a minute, you are not Pandava. In the second chapter, Krishna reveals that, that Arjuna is soul, Duryodhana is soul, everyone is soul. And the uh, first chapter, Arjuna says, oh, uh, my enemy is Kaurava, Krishna. In the third chapter says, our real enemy is not Kaurava, our real enemy is Lust, anger, and greed. Kame isha krode isha raja guna samudbhava mahashanu mahapapam. Vidhi inam vairinam. In the first chapter of Bhagavad Gita, Arjun says that the Pandavas are my friends. They are my allies. And in the fourth chapter and the fifth chapter, Krishna says, who is our friends and the allies. So, fourth chapter, Krishna says, that Tadvidi Pranipati na Pariprashti na Sevaya Yupateshyanti te Gyanam Gyani na Tattva Darshina. In the fifth chapter, Krishna says, Bhokta Ram Yagatapasam Sarvaloka Maheshwaram Suhirda Sarabhuta Nam Gnepa Mam Shantim Richyati. And in uh, uh, the sixth chapter, as soon as we know that Krishna is our well-wisher and and uh, and we know that uh, and we know that uh, spiritual master is our well wisher then 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 we should understand the plan of the lord and our focus should be one pointed laser concentrated uh, uh, execute the plan of the lord that is dhyan yoga the sixth chapter the seventh chapter is art of loving and the eighth chapter is art of dying and the ninth chapter is art of loving. In the tenth chapter is art of seeing. The art of seeing is by hearing. Mm -hmm. uh, Lal Bahadur Shastri happens to be the first president of India and he was standing in the Russian line and when he 
was uh, came to the shopkeeper. The shopkeeper saw his ration card and he said, your name is Lal Bahadur Shastri. Um, do you think you are uh, the president of India? He said, yes, I am the president of India. So when he heard from, uh, uh, we saw Lal Bahadur Shastri was standing, but he saw he, he was a, a ordinary person. But when he heard that he is the president of India, then he really, uh, really gave respect and honor. The point is, before hearing, that he did not know who is Lal Bahadur Shastri. So, the art of seeing is by uh, by hearing. So, in this chapter is uh, the tenth chapter is audio, and Krishna will tell whatever is great, whatever is amazing, whatever is beautiful, and whatever is wonderful is coming from Krishna. Just remember, whatever is beautiful is because beautiful because of Krishna's mercy. Whatever is wonderful is wonderful because of Krishna's mercy. Whatever is amazing, it's uh, amazing because of Krishna's mercy. And whatever is uh, um, Powerful, it's powerful because of Krishna's mercy. Whatever is knowledgeable is because of Krishna's. Uh, uh, what whoever is uh, famous is famous because of Krishna's mercy. So when we see beautiful, powerful people, uh, famous people, we should remember Krishna. For better understanding and easy assimilation of the subject matter, the session will be taken in the following manner. Phase one, we will see uh, that uh, that Krishna is. Uh, Knowing Krishna is uh, is very difficult because uh, he is the source of all and to uh, source of all. And in phase two, we will see the essence of Bhagavad Gita, that is uh, uh, that is text eight, ten, nine, ten, and eleven. And in phase three, we will see that Arjuna accepts Krishna's supreme mercy. And nineteen forty two, the this particular sloka, Krishna will see whatever is um, whatever is wonderful, beautiful, uh, famous, uh, powerful is all because of Krishna's mercy. Whether it is earth, water, fire, air, either mind, intelligence, false ego, anything, jalajana lakshani. Whether it's uh, aquatics, whether it's trees, whether it's uh, uh, birds, whether it's reptiles, whether it's uh, um, animals or human being. It's coming from. We see Ashwara, Samagra, Virya, Yasha, Shri, Jnana, Vairagya, Srikam, Sadbhagaiti. Anything which is uh, uh, rich, anyone who is rich or anyone who is uh, powerful, anyone who is beautiful, one is famous, knowledgeable, or having Vairagya, it's all coming by Krishna's mercy. So we will see, we can remember how Krishna. Uh, uh, by by seeing all these wonderful things, amazing things, beautiful things, uh, Krishna is te teaching us we should remember Krishna. This is the art of seeing. So now, uh, the 10th chapter is very amazing. It's very simple, very easy, and very purifying. And um, let us right away dive into the 10th chapter uh, of Bhagavad Gita. And Arj Krishna is... Uh, out of love, uh, addressing to Arjuna, Sri Bhagavan Vacha. Again, Vyasamuni um, addresses Krishna as Sri Bhagavan and uh, Sri Bhagavan Vacha. And whenever Vyasamuni is saying Sri, uh, Sri Bhagavan Vacha, that means uh, Vyasamuni wants us to pay utmost uh, um, uh, uh, attention, one pointed focus. Stop doing whatever we are doing. Stop speaking whatever we are speaking. Stop thinking whatever we thinking. Focus on what Krishna is saying. Every sentence, every word, every letter is important for us because the most important beautiful person is being Sri Bhagwan Vacha. Bhuya eva mahabhago shino me paramam vacha yate aham priya Oh, Arjuna, oh Mahabhav, you are the uh, mighty armed uh, uh, Arjuna. You are hearing as if you are hearing nectar and you are um, uh, taking a lot of interest. So, Arjuna, I am going to say more about my own self. By knowing this, by knowing this, you will, you will, you will understand that whatever so far I have spoken, 
this knowledge is is better than whatever our, 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 I have spoken. So I am speaking it for your benefit. By giving this uh, knowledge, you will understand me better and you will fall in love with me. Oh Krishna, how may one truly know your opulences? Because you said that a Shraddhalu, a Shraddhalu becomes Shraddhalu by uh, seeing the, your greatness. Yeah. So, by seeing your opulences, the uh, people will understand you are great and they'll say, wow, till now I knew God is great. But, but, here, when we know you more, we'll say, God is really great. And how great is God? So, uh, people in general, they just say, God is great, but Krishna will teach us, tell us how great he is. So, Arjuna is asking, please tell me more about your opulences. I want to know. And can people understand your opulences? No, unless and until Krishna speaks or tells, people will not understand. Name vidu suragana prabhavam na maharishi nam adirhi deva nam maharishi nam cha sarvasa ne, Neither the demigods nor the sages, they know uh, my opulences. Because I am the source of all opulences. I am the source of all the demigods and all the sages. Like... A father is rich. He has got many properties and uh, uh, account in many, many banks. The son, the children will not know where are the, uh, how much money is in which bank unless and until the father tells. Similarly, Krishna is saying the great sages and the demigods will not know me unless and until, yeah, unless and until I reveal it to me. Even the great, great uh, munis the four Kumaras, the great, great demigods like Indra, they will not come to, uh, they will not, 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 not know me. Oh Krishna, oh Vasudev, you are the supreme Brahman and you are all pervading in all time and space. And now we are taking, so in this way, in this way, yeah, uh, Krishna, Krishna, Krishna is saying to Arjuna that, uh, Aham Adirhi Devanam Maharishi Cha Sarva Saha Yo Maam Ajam Anadim Veti Loka Maheshwara Asamuda Samarteshu Sarve Pape Pram Uchate One should know that I am Aja. Oh Krishna, even Lord Brahma is Aja. Yes, I am Ajan, but at the same time, an Adim, I am beginning less. For me, there is no beginning. But for Brahma, he's got a beginning. He is born from Garbhadakshay Vishnu. Yo Maam Ajam, Yo Maam Ajam Anadim Cha. I am unborn, beginningless. I am the Supreme Lord, Loka Maheshwaram. How can people understand that I am controlling uh, everything? Not a piece of glass, grass can move without with my sanction. A stone can move. I am controlling the three uni uh, three worlds, and 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 at at present you are controlling me, and I am controlling your chariot. So. Who can understand this wonderful interaction between Krishna and God? Only those who are Mahatmas, who are free from all sins, can understand this secret. He who knows me unborn and beginningless as the Supreme Lord of the world, he only un deluded among men is freed from all senses. So as soon as we know that Krishna is Aja, Krishna is beginningless uh, Anadim and uh, Loka Maheshwaram, we are free from all the sins. Papi Oh Krishna, 
it seems that you have no birth but still scholars are confused yes i am not forced but i appear by my own sweet will just like i was in braj maya shoda wanted to punish me by tying the ropes but she could not tie so in this way krishna is krishna will not reveal this secret unless and until he one gets the mercy of krishna knowledge intelligence intelligence knowledge freedom from doubt delusion forgiveness truthfulness control of senses control of mind happy freedom from happiness and distress freedom from uh, the fear of birth death fearlessness non violence equanimity satisfaction austerity charity pain infamy all these wonderful qualities are good but it is insufficient for is insufficient to know me buddhir gyanam asamoha big big people will like the demigods and the great rishis they will not understand my opulences and people with good qualities will also not understand all these wonderful qualities come from satvaguna but i am i am beyond satvaguna buddhir gyanam asamoha shama satyam dama sama sukham dukham baho abavo bhayam cha bhayam e bacha these qualities are good but it's not enough enough to me know me ahimsa samata tushti tapodanam yashu yasha bhavanti bhava bhutanam mata eva pritagpida even though these are wonderful qualities but these are not enough to know me they come from satoguna and i am beyond satoguna great gate maharishis the four kumaras the sapta rishis the uh, uh they they understand me the seven the great sages and before that the four kumaras and the manus they all come from my mind and all the beings and from them comes the population of this world like a father from father children comes and the children will be unaware of what the proper father's property or uh, father's bank account the money etc unless until the father we will similarly the maharishis the seven saptarishis the four kumaras the manus they all come from me and unless and until i reveal this to my children they will not know my opulences maharishi saptapurve chatvaro manavatata madbhava manasagata esham loka imaha praja from them comes the whole uh, uh, living entities which 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 uh, uh, which populate the universe it is me it is me when i reveal the secret they they come to know o oh, krishna what is the secret please tell me etam vidhi vibhutim yogam cha mam yo piti tatvata so avikalpena yogena yujjeta natra samsaya krishna is the source of krishna says that uh, krishna says that uh, uh, everything everything krishna says that this vibhuti yog uh, is uh, uh, when i reveal people will come to know and when people come to know the opulences they will be one pointed fixed in loving krishna and by loving krishna they become better devotees and by becoming de better devotees they will be happy at all time place and circumstances so 
by knowing the opulences, one can see Krishna at all time, all place, and all circumstances. So, what is the result? Uh, what is the? Uh, please tell me the opulences. So Krishna is ask, uh, asking Krishna, Arjuna is asking Krishna to reveal the opulences in and the result of uh, knowing the opulences. But Krishna in very nutshell will be revealing it. He will be saying the Chatur Sloki Bhagavad Gita and by reciting Chatur Sloki Bhagavad Gita, one gets the benefit of reciting the whole of Bhagavad Gita, 700 slokas. The, the, uh, the, yes, the opulence of Krishna and the result of knowing the opulence of Krishna is mentioned in four slokas, but Arjuna will be not satisfied. So he says, I want to know more. Then again, from text 19 to 1942, the, uh, the uh, Krishna will will explain further. But in essence, in the seed form, he will be explaining from text 9, 10, 8, 9, and 10, which is called as Chatur Sloki Bhagavad Gita. Let us recite Chatur Sloki Bhagavad Gita and try to understand Chatur Sloki Bhagavad Gita. It is the essence of all the teachings. In this, we have Sambandha, Abhideya, and Gya, which is, which is what is seen in the scriptures. Aham sarvasa prabhavo matta sarvam pravartate iti matva bhajante ma bhuda bhava samandita machitta matgata prana bhuda yanta parasparam gata yanta chamam nityam Kushyanti cha ramanti cha tesham satata yuktanam bhajantam priti purvakam dadami buddhi yogam tam ye namam upayanti te tesham evanukam partam aham ajnana jam tamaha nashyam yatma bhavasto jnana deepena bashvata so chatur sloki bhagavad gita just by hearing the chatur sloki bhagavad gita uh, we get uh, or reciting the chatur sloki bhagavad gita we get the benefit of reciting the whole Bhagavad Gita, which means by reciting Bhagavad Gita, all our sins for many lifetimes will be piped out and all wonderful uh, uh, pious credits we receive. I am the source of all spiritual and material worlds, whether it's Vaikuntha or many different material universes. And from me comes all the living beings and the non-living beings. And those who know the truth, they understand how merciful the Supreme Personality of Godhead, how wonderful the Lord is and how compassionate the Lord is and they fall in love with Krishna and engage in his devotional service and worship him with the heart. Their life is as if a fish outside fish, fish in the water and they cannot come out of the water, they will be trembling. They can only hear about Krishna and speak about Krishna and remember about Krishna. Machitta Madgata Prana bodayanta paras param gatayanta shamani pyam tushyanti cha ramanti cha aham sarvasa prabhu. So Krishna is telling all this opulence uh, is coming from me. And if somebody knows my opulence, they will just think my glory, machita, matkata. They will fall in love with me. It is said that when one falls in love, with someone, he starts singing the name of the person. Like Romeo sings the name of Juliet. Juliet sings the name of Romeo. Here sings the name of Ranja. Ranja sings the name of Here. 
So devotees fall in love with Krishna and sing the name of Krishna, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna. Machitta madgata prana bhodayanta parasparam gatayanta chamam nityanta shyanticha ramanticha. The thoughts of my pure devotees dwell in me. They always think about me. They fall in love and think about Krishna. And their life is fully devoted Madgata Prana. They want to please Krishna. That is what they are living for and dying for. And they derive satisfaction, great satisfaction in, in, uh, in talking about Krishna, hearing about Krishna and enlightening each other about Krishna. And in this way, once they annoy, uh, knowing the opulence, one will fall in love with Krishna and out of uh, uh, and they will talk about Krishna, hear about Krishna, and experience some, uh, uh, experience bliss and satisfaction. And in this way, they will be yeah, coming closer and closer to Krishna. Oh Krishna, you are saying that they are satisfied and pleased by your devotion to you. But how do they realize you directly? When they hear about me, when they talk about me when they fall in love with me. I shower special mercy on them. Tesham satatyukta nam bhajantam priti purvakam dadami buddhi yogam tam ye namam upayati te When they are talking about me and hearing about me and remembering about me, they are constantly doing this service with great love and because of this sacrifice, I will give them the knowledge by which they can serve me better and come closer to me. Upa means near, yanti means coming. Upa yanti te tadami, I will give them the knowledge. So Krishna will give knowledge to devotees who are uh, who are uh, trying to render loving service so they can serve better. Like Krishna said in uh, seventh chapter, those who are trying to love demigods, he will give that intelligence to become more faithful to that demigods. But the, for the devotees, Krishna is saying, if they love, Krishna will give more and more knowledge how to do uh, read uh, chant better, how to re read the uh, studies Prabhupada books better, how to serve Prabhupada book better, how to lovingly serve, serve devotees better, and how to do Archavigra Seva better, how to uh, stay in uh, the dhambas, and in this way, in this way, uh, the, the the Krishna will give intelligence, the dami. For demigod worshippers, in the seventh chapter, Krishna says he's given knowledge to come closer to demigod. But in this chapter, Krishna is saying that they will, once they know uh, my opulences, they will uh, love me and serve me better and I give more knowledge, they can come to me. So, uh, I, out of uh, love, enter into their heart and my, show them the special mercy. And with the lamp of knowledge, I will remove the darkness of ignorance. These four slokas is called Chatur Sloki Bhagavad Gita. And devotees memorize this and devotees recite this. Uh, daily or as often as possible. By reciting this, we get the essence of Bhagavad Gita. By reciting this, we get the whole benefit of reciting Bhagavad Gita. Arjuna excerpts Krishna's uh, Arjuna by hearing Krishna's uh, um, Arjuna by hearing uh, this. Now he comes to know that Krishna is great. Baap re baap, hum, hum, so Krishna accepts the greatness of Krishna. So by hearing the greatness of Krishna, Arjuna now accepts Krishna. So the seeing art of seeing Krishna is not through by through eyes, that is, but it is through ears. And Arjuna is now going to declare for the first time in Bhagavad Gita that how great is Krishna. 
अर्जुन वाच परम ब्रह्म परम धाम पवित्रम परम भवान पुरुषम शाश्वत दिव्यम आदि देव अजम विभू you are the supreme personality of god and you are the ultimate abode you are pure the pure purest you are the absolute truth you are eternal you are transcendental you are original person you are unborn you are the greatest so krist arjuna is now uh, from uh, from his heart he realizes the ultimate truth that krishna is the ultimate uh, shelter and krishna is pure he can pure even the every everything by coming closer to him even the impure becomes pure and krishna says why are you glorifying me he says no 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 i am not glorifying you this is the truth which i heard from devrishi narada asita devula when i was in forest yasamuni and now i heard it from you and i am convinced you are the greatest अहुस्तम ऋषि सर्वे देव ऋषि नारद स्तता असी तो देवलो व्यासो स्वयं भ्रविष्यमी सो सो आई एम आई एम नॉट आई एम नॉट ट्राइंग टू यू नो फॉल्सली फॉल्सली ट्राई टू यू नो इन impress upon you no 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 this is the truth i have been hearing from great great rishis narada muni when i was in astinapur and asita devala when i was in forest in exile and vyasa muni confirms about this i heard from them and now you also have been uh, said this and now i am declaring from the depth of my heart that you are the greatest mm. i have been hearing you are great but i know how great you are sarvam etadritam manye janmam vadasi keshava nahi te bhagwan vyakti vidur deva danava i totally accept whatever you said in complete in truth these these truth the opulence the great great demigods like brahma and indra will also not come to know like brahma vimohan leela and govardhan leela they misunderstand you the demons they also cannot understand but because of your mercy i am able to understand oh krishna thank you for being kind to me thank you for revealing this so understanding krishna is the supreme person of godhead is actually only by the mercy of krishna or varshi of pure devotees of the lord and today we know that krishna is the supreme person of god that is because of the mercy of causeless mercy of still prabhupa exibati ananda sameshla prabhupa ki jai स्वयं आत्मना आत्मना वेता तम पुरुषोत्तमा भूत भावन भूतेश देव देव जगपते कृष्णा यू ओली नो योर ओन सेल्फ बाय योर इंटरनल पोटेंसी यू आर द ओरिजिन ऑफ एवरीथिंग you are the lord of all the beings you are god of the god deva deva you are utesh you are the maintainer of all the living it is bhuta bhavana and you are utesh and deva deva and you are lord of the universe jagan nath srishti nath jagatpati vaktum arhasi ashe दिव्य ही आत्मा विभूतया विभूतिर्लोका व्याप्यते ओ कृष्ण यू आर यू आर मेकिंग मी ईगर टू हियर अबाउट योर अपलेंसेस यू आर ट्राइंग टू मेक मी ग्रीडी टू अंडरस्टैंड about your opulence more i want to know in detail your divine knowledge by which you are pervading all this world oh arjuna i have already told 
Aham Sarvasa Prabhu. Oh Krishna, that was only in seed form, but I want to know everything in detail. Oh Arjuna, please tell clearly what you want me to do. Shall I show me? Shall I show you my opulences? No, Krishna, no. Please describe them. I want to hear it, the, uh, the opulences because the greed to hear is been is been uh, uh, created by you, and I want to hear that. Arjuna is hearing as if he is drinking nectar from the 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 uh, ears. So Krishna is saying, "Oh Arjuna, you are hearing as if as if your your ear has become tongue, and it's uh, it's tasting the nectar uh, of the words which is being spoken." Yes, Arj yes, Krishna. Please explain in detail. By these three teachings, you have created a greed in me. Therefore, you are making me beg more and more fr from you. And I want to hear and taste the nectar of your words. Oh, Arjuna, you are tasting with your ears. Yes, my ears have become tongue and the agent of tasting the nectar of your words. Oh, Krishna, please, please. Tell me more about your opulences. Katam vidyam aham yogin tam sada parichintayan keshu keshu chabhaveshu chintayo asi bhagavan me keshu keshu chabhaveshu parichintayan I can think about you. Anuchintayan Show me or tell me about your opulences that all time, all places, and all circumstances. I just remember you and think about you. And Parichintaya, uh, oh Krishna, oh supreme mistake. How shall I constantly think about you? Oh yogi, I'm Adi yogi. Uh, please, please, please tell me uh, the opulences by which I can constantly think about you. How shall I know, know you? How shall I know in what various form you are to be remembered? O oh, Supreme Person of God, please do reveal this. Tell me in detail about your opulences. Vistari Natmano Yogam Vidutim Cha Janadana Bhuya Kataya Tripti Rhi Srinvato Nasti Me Amritam O Krishna, O Janadana, your maintainer of living being, please maintain me by giving me more nectar and, and make your name uh, more glorified as Janardana. Please describe in detail uh, the mystic power of your opulences. I am not satiated in hearing about you. For the more I hear, the more I get, want to taste your nectar in words. Please, please tell me. So Krishna is going to now reveal about his opulences because Arjuna is ready to hear. And the greed to hear also are Krishna created. From 1942, 19 to 42, the opulences will be. Whatever is the greatest in earth or in water, in fire, in air, and either in mind, intelligence, or whatever is greater in aquatics, or um, whatever is great in uh, uh, trees, that all greatness is coming from Krishna. And by seeing them, we should remember Krishna. Sri Bhagavan Vacha. Again, Vyasa Muni is saying Sri Bhagavan Vacha. That means beautiful, important person is speaking. That means something beautiful and important is going to speak. That means we should stop doing uh, uh, um, anything and everything and here. And we should stop speaking anything and everything and here. And we should stop thinking anything and everything. And one pointed focus, laser we, uh, focus, we should hear these sentences, every word, every letter, because something important and beautiful is going to be spoken, which will make us uh, important and which will make our life important and beautiful. Antate katayishyami divyahi atma vibhutiya pradanyataha kuru shreshta nasti anto vistaras 
Yes, Arjuna, yes. I will tell you of my wondrous, splendorous manifestation. But it is unlimited. It has got no beginning, middle and end. But I will speak only the prominent one. Oh, Arjuna, for my opulence is unlimited. Guru Shreshta, I will tell you the important ones. Pradhan Yantaha. Aham Atma Guda Kesha Bhutasya Stita Aham Adhi Cha Madhyam Cha Bhutana Mantha Eva Cha I am the Super Soul of Arjuna seated in the hearts of all living entities. I am the beginning, I am the middle, and I am the end. This only Krishna can say. We cannot say we are the beginning because we have got a beginning. We cannot say the end because we don't know the end also. Aditya Nam Aham Vishnu Jyotisham Ravi Ansumam Maruchi Marutam Asmin Nakshatra Nam Aham Shashi Among the children of Aditi, I am Baman Bhagwan, the greatest among them, Vishnu. Of the lights, there are many lights. I am sun. Of the Marutas, the wind, I am Marichi. And among the stars in the sky, the biggest is moon. So whatever is greatest, we should understand the greatness is coming from Krishna. Veda nam sama vedo asmin deva nam asmin vasava indriya nam manah cha asmin bhuta nam asmi chetanam rigved yajurved samved atarved the samved is full of glories and the very very uh, wonderful that some greatness in some way is given by me. Among the demigods there are many. I am the most powerful that is Indra, the king of heaven. Among the senses, the working senses and the knowledge gaining senses, eyes, ears, nose, tongue, skin, the hands, the legs, the mouth, the ends and the victim, Mind, I am, that is the greatest of, of all the 11 senses, that mind is my me. The greatness in mind is given by Krishna. Of all the souls, the living forces is me. Atma is having consciousness. This consciousness is given by Krishna. So the more we see that a person is conscious like stones, tree, birds, animals, human being, rishis. We understand that uh, that uh, that uh, the more one is conscious, that means we should understand he is getting more mercy of Krishna. Rudra nam sankara chasmin viteshu yakshara kshasham vasunam pavaka chasmin meru sikari nam aham Among the snea, among, among, among the rudras, yeah, the eleven rudras, Shankara is the greatest and that greatness is given to Shankar by me. Viteshu yakshara kshasham among the Rakshasas, the uh, Kubera is the greatest. That greatness is given to Kubera by me. So remember me. Vasunam pavaka chasmin, water, fire, air, wind. Among the uh, 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 among the Vasus, Agni, Dev, I am the greatest. Meru, among the earth, the mountains uh, are the greatest. So when we see great, great mountains and among the mountains, 
the Mount Meru, which is moving, that moving mountain, the great mountain is me. The greatness in Meru Parvat is given by Krishna. Urodasam cha mukyamam vidipata brihaspatim senaninam aham skanda sarasam chasmin sargaha. Among the Brahmanas, uh, the Brahaspati is the greatest, and that greatness is given to Brahaspati is given by me. Among the Kshatriyas, uh, Skanda, the, the son of Shiva. Kartika is the greatest of the Kshatriya. That greatness is given by me. So remember me. And of the priest, the chief of all the demigods, chief priest of the demigods, Praspati, and among the generals of the demigods, I, I am Kartika. Among the water body, bodies of water, Sarasa, Sarasam Asmin Sagara, that ocean, I am, I am. So we see uh, a small well, a pond, and uh, a lake, a river, but ocean is so great that greatness is uh, given by Krishna. Maharishi Nam Brigu Aham. Giram asmi ekam aksharam yajnanam japo yajnasmin stavaranam himalaya Among the non-moving mountains, I am Himalaya. The greatness to Himalaya is given by me. Among all the sages, I am Brigu. He tested Brahma, Vishnu and Mahesh and said, Krishna, Vishnu is the greatest because he can control himself. So, Brigu is that great and that greatness in Brigu is given by Krishna. Among vibrations, there are many birds we can vibrate, but Om has got the power of making us pure and powerful. That pureness and powerfulness in Om is given by Krishna. Of the sacrifice, there are many Yajya, but the chanting of the holy name is the greatest of all Yajya. Japo Yajya Asmi. So Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Ram Hare Hare. So this is the most powerful mantra and the power of this is uh, given by Krishna, the Maha Mantra. Mm -hmm. Keto Dharpana Marjanam Bahu Maha Davagni Mugatam Shaya Kairava Chandrika Vitaram Vidya Vatati Anandam Ambudivadanam Pratipadam Poon Amrit Aswadam Sarvata Snapanam Parambaje Te Shri Krishna Sankirtam Nam Nam Akari Bhavada Nija Sarva Sakti Patra Pitani Mata Kalimas. So all the power is given in Mahamantra. So Japo Yogya Asmi Aswata Sarva Vrikshanam Among the trees, among the demigods, among the reptiles. Among the human being, who is the greatest? The greatness is coming from me. Aswata Sarva Vriksha Nam Devarishi Nam Janarada Gandharvam Chitraratta Siddhanam Kapilo Muni. Of the trees, I am the banyan tree. Of the sages, I am the demigod Narada. Um, uh, of the Gandharvas, I am Chitrata. And among the perfect beings, I am in Kapila. Uchesh Ravasam Aswanam Vidima Amrita Udbhavam Ayravatam Gajendra Nam Nara Nam Chanara Dipam. Among the horses, Uchesh Rava is coming from the uh, coming from the uh, from the churning of the ocean, and that uh, Uchesh Rava is a great horse. That greatness in the thoughts is coming from me. So remember Krishna. And among the elephant, Airavata is uh, very powerful and beautiful. That beauty and power is coming from Krishna. So by seeing Airavata, we should remember Krishna. Among the men, among the men, we find that the king is very powerful. The power for the king actually is coming from 
Krishna, so we can remember Krishna. Ayudanam am bhajram, denunam asmi kamado, prajanam chasmi kandarpa sarpanam asmi vasuki. Among the weapons, vajra is the greatest. Among the cows, surubi is the greatest. Among the procreation process, kandarpa is able to produce many, many, many uh, progenies and is the god of love. And among the snakes, I am Vasuki. Among the one-headed snake, I am Vasuki. Whether you take trees, whether you take uh, snakes, whether you take aquatics, whatever is the greatest, the greatness is coming from Krishna. Among many-headed reptiles, I am Ananta, Ananta, Chasmi, Naga, Anam, Varunam Yadasam Aham Pitrinam Aryama Chasmin Yamasamayam Tam Aham. Among the many hooded Nagas, I am Ananta. Among the aquatics, I am demigod Varuna. Among the departed ancestor, I am Aryama. And among the dispenser of the law, I am Yama, the Lord of Law, Lord of Death. So Aryama is staying above the earth and Yamaraj is staying below the earth. So Bhuvarlok. In Bhuvarlok, Aryama has got account of every living entity. So we give Shraddha that goes to Aryama and he gives that benefit of the Shraddha to the forefathers, Pinda, Shraddha, etc. Et and Yamaraj also has got account of every living entity in the material world, um, in the universe. Pralad chasmi daita naam kala kalayanta aham mriga naam cha mrigodra aham vaina teas cha pakshi naam. Among the uh, demons, Pralad was such a, lo a loving devotee of the Lord and that devotion, that love <laughs> was... Uh, Prahlad gets by the mercy of Krishna. We remember Krishna. Among the subduer, uh, I am time. Time can subdue. Somebody may say, I am great, but time will uh, make him, uh, by time comes, old age comes, he will say, so can subdue anyone and everyone. Among the beast, Leon is the great, uh, very ferocious and king of the forest. That power is given to Leon by Krishna. Among the birds, I am Garuda. The power for flying and doing wonderful act actually is given by Garuda. Pavana pavatam asmi ramaha shastra britam aham jasana makara chasmin srotasam asmi janavi. Among the purifier, the wind can purify everything. And among the uh, 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 weapon fighters, uh, I am Rama or Parshurama. Among the fish, aquatics, I am Shar. And among the flowing water, I am Ganges. So whatever we see great in uh, a tree or reptile or, uh, uh, or uh, aquatics, that greatness is coming from Krishna. Earth, water, fire, either is coming from Krishna. Sarganam Adir Antacha Madhyam Chaiva Arjuna Adhyatma Vidya Vidyana Bada Pravadantam Aham. Among the creation, I am the beginning, the end, and also the middle. Actually, Krishna is the source of uh, the creation, and he also destroys and he maintains also. Among the science, there are many science, uh, the spiritual science. Science of self-realization is the greatest. When we know this, we know everything. So, when we know the science of self-realization, uh, we get so much happiness, actually. That is why it's the uh, uh, greatest of all the science. Among the logicians, I am the conclusive proof. Akshara naam akaro asmin danda sama si Aham eva akshaya kalo data hum vishato mukaham. Among the letters, uh, among the letters, I am A. A is found in everything, in uh, every, every, any, any. 
let her be see there is a in that and among the compound words i am dual compound like rama krishna krishna balaram sita ram radha krishna it's a dual compound i am also inexhaustible time and creator among creator i am brahma time is subdued and time is got no beginning no end and no end it's inexhaustible mrityu sarva harascham ubavacha bhavishyatam kirti sirvak cha narinam smritir meda driti shamam and of all that is devouring i am death death will take everything a uh, uh, robber may take computer mobile but death will take everything from that person i am the generating principle of all that is yet to be ubhava bhavishyatam everything that comes actually comes from krishna among women i am pain fortune fine speech memory intelligence steadfastness patience a lady is more feminine if she is uh, got a fine speech good memory patience etc etc nowadays these qualities they want to sacrifice they want to learn karate and kung fu and they speak harshly and beat so that is reducing their femininity krishna is saying femininity is more when we see that they they bring because of purity they bring fortune and fine speech memory etc etc so brihat that is seen in radharani brihat samatata samnama gayatri chandasam aham masana marga shisho aham ritu nam kusuma akarah among in in, in samaveda there are many many beautiful rims Uh, hymns and bharatash uh, bharatasrama is the beautiful of all and among all the poetry gayatri is the most uh, melodious and among the seasons margashesha masa uh, radharani is uh, uh, radharani is kartik mas and immediately after radharani comes margashesha mas where krishna spoke bhagavad gita among the season krishna is the kusum that flower bearing, uh, bearing spring up the beautiful of all the six seasons byutam chalayantam asmin teja tejas veena aham jayo asmin vyavasayo asmin satvam satpatam aham aman the cheater cheating process gambling is totally full of cheating so uh, among the uh, nobody can uh, even if somebody is trying to cheat like uh, uh, hiranyakashipu wanted to cheat everybody by saying that he will avoid death but krishna came as nashima and killed him as uh, among the splendid i am the splendor i am the victory i am the victory i am the adventure and i am the strength of the strong vrishinam vasudeva smin pandavanam dhanam jaya muninam api aham vyasa gavinam usana kavi among the chandramamsi king the descent of vrishni was a great king actually krishna the son of vasudev vasudev is the greatest and among the pandavas arjuna is the greatest that greatness is coming by krishna among the sages vyasa was very literary scholar that literary greatness is coming given by krishna among the thinker shukracharya ushna was a great thinker that beautiful thinking is given by krishna dando dhamayantam asmin nitir asmin jigisatam maunam chay asmi guhya anam gyanam gyanavatam aham among Uh, all the means of suppressing lawlessness punishment if people get punishment for doing wrong they will next time will not do the wrong thing and others who are saying will also not do the wrong thing so punishment is very or uh, good way of suppressing lawlessness so people uh, 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 of of those who seek victory and morality and apart from secret things i am silence if we don't speak secret will remain secret 
and uh, of the wise i am wisdom Oh, furthermore, Arjuna, I am the generating seed of all the existence. There is no beginning for me, whether it's moving or non-moving, that can exist without me. Only Krishna can say that. We may we cannot say that nothing can exist without me. Because Krishna is the Supreme Person of God. If somebody says they are God, we should say prove by if without you things cannot happen. But without an ordinary person, many things are happening. So if it is Vali Krishna who can say that without him nothing can happen. Breathing becomes difficult. Seeing becomes difficult. Nanto asti maam divya naam vibhuti naam param thapa esha tudesha ta prokto bhute vistaro maya Now Krishna says that. What should I say of all the great things? Oh, conqueror of enemies. Param tapa. There is no end for my greatness. What I have spoken to is but a mere indication of my infinite opulences. Yad yad vibhuti mat satvam shrimad urjitam evava tatta deva gachatvam Mamate jo amsa sambhavan. Know that all opulent, beautiful, glorious creation spring from but a spark of mine. We say God is great, and Krishna is saying how great he is. Atava bhutan atava bahu nai te na kim na te na tava arjuna. Vistabhyam idam krishnam ekeyam amse nastito jagat. But what is the need, Arjuna, for all this detailed knowledge? With a single fragment of myself, I pervade and support the entire universe. So try understand my greatness. So from 1942, 1942, Krishna explained the greatest and Krishna says that whatever I've spoken is just, just, just the tinge of my greatness. So we say God is great. But here Krishna is telling how we understand how great is God. So in this way, the 10th chapter of Bhagavad Gita, Krishna talks about his opulence. By knowing this opulence, what will happen? We will fall in love with Krishna. When we see Chamatkar, we pay Namaskar and we become and by seeing this, we our Shraddha increases. By Shraddha increases more, it turns into Prima. And we see when, 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 when Prima increases, we'll fall in love, talk about Krishna and serve Krishna, be happy and make Krishna. Keshu, Keshu, Chabhavishu. By seeing all these opulence, great things, we start remembering Krishna. And by seeing Krishna, all time, all place, all circumstances, we will uh, we'll be happy and we'll be blissful and peaceful and simply wonderful. So let us thank Srila Prabhupada that he is helping us that understand Krishna is a Janma, Anadim, is the Supreme Personality of Loka Maheshwaram, which great, great uh, uh, sages, Saptarishi, Purkumaras, Manu, also could not understand till Krishna spoke to them. But we simply by causeless mercy of Prabhupada understand. So let us be faithful to Prabhupada, study Prabhupada books, distribute Prabhupada books, become good devotees, bring glory to spiritual master Prabhupada, make our life successful. So we should take a vow from now till our uh, our last breath we will become 
will try to please Prabhupada and make our life successful. With this, I conclude my speech for today. Hare Krishna.